Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a triathlete and blogger at Emily's Journal. I compete in long distance triathlons and to make sure I stay healthy, don't get injured, I practice and teach Pilates at least twice a week. So I thought I'd run you through one of my quick, simple sequences that you could do at home. So we're just going to start with some nice big shoulder rolls, loosen up the shoulders, breathing in as the shoulders come up, breathing out as they come down, just really loosen everything off. Take some backwards, do about five reps and then forwards, just change in direction. Breathing in, breathing out, and then take it into some nice big arm circles. Keep the stomach muscles engaged and the back really nice and flat. Take the arms nice and wide. And then again, just change direction after you've done a few reps of those. Remembering the breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep the core muscles really engaged, standing up nice and tall, pulling up out the hips. I'm going to take one arm over, sliding the other arm down the leg, again just loosening up the upper body before we start the rest of the sequence. And changing sides, we're just going to do that one more each side, keeping the core nice and tight. I'm going to keep saying that so you don't forget. And then back into the centre and bring the arms down. We're going to loosen up the hips and the knees, so we're just going to go in some bodyweight squats, taking the arms overhead. This just loosens up the thoracic spine. So just sit back, keep the legs parallel, and just squeeze your glutes at the top, keeping the core nice and tight still. Just get the last few clicks out of the way and a bit of a shake and then just stand to the back of your mat. Feet hip width apart and then we're going to go for some roll downs. So you're going to drop the chin to your chest and roll down each vertebrae of the spine and just completely relax at the bottom. So we want to get rid of all the tension in your neck so you can shake your head around, roll around for a bit and then we're going to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time until we're standing again and then we're going to repeat that again. So rolling down each vertebrae one at a time, we're trying to let go of all the tension in our spine and in our necks. Soften your knees if you've got tight hamstrings, relax at the bottom and then we're going to slowly walk our hands out one at a time until we're in a nice high plank position. So squeezing the core muscles nice and tight, making sure we're breathing. If at any point you feel any pressure in your lower spine, just gently drop your knees to the floor, send your bum back to your heels and walk your hands forward. You can hold that for as long or as short as you need to. So we're just relaxing the back in this position, walking the hands forward, getting a nice stretch. And then we're going to come up onto all fours. So try get the hands directly underneath the shoulders and the knees directly underneath the hips with a nice flat back. You're going to extend opposite arm and leg, lengthening away from each other, keeping the hip bones facing the mat. So try not to roll the hip around with the leg and try to keep that back really nice and flat, squeezing the core muscles, lengthening the arm and leg away from each other, and try to keep as little movement as possible when you switch sides. So this is a whole body exercise, it requires a lot of control. If this is too much for you, you can just keep the arm and leg on the floor, still extending away from the body, but just without lifting it off the ground. We're just gonna keep switching, alternating between each side, keeping the core really nice and tight, neck in line with the spine, and keeping the body nice and long and everything pulled in nice and tight. Good, just a few more each side, making sure we're breathing. And then we'll just send our bum back to our heels again, walking our hands forward and just relax in that position. We're gonna go back up onto our hands and knees. Again, get in that position directly underneath our hips and then tuck the toes under and we're just gonna gently kiss the floor with our knees. So the knees don't really rest on the floor, they just almost kiss it and straight back up. So we're squeezing our stomach muscles really nice and tight for this. The knees only lift off about a centimetre and we're just really working those abdominals. And then again, just send the bum back to the heels to relax after that one. It's quite a tough core exercise. And then we're just gonna 
sit on our bum with our legs out in front of us. I'm gonna do a few more core exercises here. So for this, we're just gonna gently roll down the spine one vertebra at a time, nice and controlled until our head is the last thing that touches the mat and then the first thing to lift off the mat and we're gonna roll up the opposite way. So really nice and controlled, really squeezing those stomach muscles and we mustn't forget to breathe as everyone does when they do this exercise. So if this is a bit too challenging for you, you don't have to go all the way down. You can just go to where you kind of feel that sticking point where you feel like your legs are kind of fighting off the floor. That's absolutely fine. And as you get a bit stronger, you can take it lower towards the floor. You're actually better off scaling this exercise to make it slightly easier as long as you've got more control. And then just hug your knees to your chest and just rock from side to side, massage your lower spine, and then finish with the legs up in front of you. Arms by your side, you're just gonna lift your neck and shoulders off the mat. I'm gonna pulse the arms. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, just lift the legs straight, and the closer towards the floor, the more challenging it is. So maybe start with them quite high, like I've demonstrated here, and as you get a bit stronger, or a bit more confident, you can take the legs a little bit closer to the floor. And again, just relax in that position. We're gonna go in some glute bridges, so if you take the feet on the floor, the knees are going up to the ceiling, you're going to tilt your pelvis and slowly roll up the spine so the weight's in your shoulders, one vertebra at a time, really squeezing your glutes at the top and then slowly rolling back down one vertebra at a time. So you want to engage your glutes the minute they lift off the mat, rolling up that spine, hips nice and high, hold it and then slowly back down. So really feel that you go through each vertebra of the spine. You want to roll up and roll down, not just send the hips straight up. Good. Making sure we're breathing here still. We've got the stomach muscles engaged. And keep the knees parallel from each other. You're pushing the ground away with your heels. Good. Just go for a few more reps of this. If you want to progress this, you could take one leg off, place it back down, and then the other before you come back down. On this last rep, we're just gonna hold it at the top, so we're really getting those glutes fired up. So squeezing the glutes nice and tight, squeezing the tummy muscles, making sure we're breathing, and we're just holding it there. Like before, you don't have to hold it the whole time, just do what works best for you. And then slowly rolling back down, hugging the knees to the chest again, and we'll just rock from side to side. Okay, you wanna take the arms behind the neck, you can lift your neck and shoulders off the mat, keep the elbows right out to the side, and you're just gonna put individual toe taps towards the mat, really squeezing the lower stomach muscles into the mat, so that back wants to be flat against the mat, just the neck and shoulders off. You don't want to have any gap between your lower back and the mat, that wants to be flat against the floor. So remembering to breathe, keep those elbows out to the side, nice and controlled, just really working into those lower abdominals. And then just hug the knees to the chest again. So we're just relaxing our lower spine when we do this. Okay, next we're gonna roll onto our side. In this position, you wanna make sure you're in a nice straight line and your hips are stacked straight on top of each other. So try not to let them roll backwards or forwards. You've got that other arm that can rest on the floor just for a bit of support. And we're just lifting the leg, not too high, just up and down so we can feel it in that glute area. Squeezing the lower stomach muscles, making sure we're breathing here. And we're just taking it up and back down. If you need to, you can put a block or something under your head if it feels uncomfortable. On that rep, we're just gonna hold it up, deep breaths, and then just stretch the leg across if you need to. So we're gonna take it back up, for some leg circles. Good, so same position. Check the hips are stacked, and then we're just gonna draw a tiny circle with our feet. Nice and slow and controlled. And after a few reps, just change direction.
get the top turn the other way. Keep the core nice and tight. The upper body's completely still, you're just moving from that hip joint. And then when you're ready, you can stretch that leg across. Remember which side you've done because we're going to turn onto our front. I'm going to do a bit of arm work here. So you want your hands placed either side of your chest and we're just going to go into a nice back extension. So keeping the elbows tucked into your sides, you're just going to slowly bring yourself up into that stretch and then really slowly lower yourself back down so the weight's through your arms. If you've got a fairly tight back, you don't have to go up quite as high as this. Just make sure you really drive those elbows into your sides so we're working the backs of our arms, getting our triceps. So nice and slow. Keep the neck nice and long. Good, this feels really nice on your spine. It's good to stretch it out. Last few reps. and then just send the bum back to the heels again, walking those hands forward, just stretch off the spine. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other side. So just get back into that position. You wanna make sure your hips are stacked on top of each other and you've got that front arm for support if you need to. So we're just lifting that leg nice and controlled, up and back down. If you want to make this slightly more challenging, you can have the underneath leg lifted just off the floor as well. Um, but this is a good one to start and then progress to that. Obviously you can make this harder by doing more reps as well. So we're just going up and down. Keeping the stomach muscles nice and tight. And then we're going to hold it after a few reps. Breathe. and then just stretch that leg out because we've got our leg circles on this side. So when you're ready, take that leg back up and we're just gonna draw a really tiny circle. One side might feel more difficult than the other, that's absolutely normal. And then just change direction when you're ready. Core nice and tight, we're still breathing. I'm sure you're sick of me saying that now, but people do forget to breathe. Change direction again. And then we'll stretch that leg across. And just relax into that stretch for a few seconds. And then we're just gonna come onto our back back for our final core exercise. So we've done this one, we lift our legs into tabletop position, lift the neck and shoulders off and we're pulsing the arms. As I said before, you can make this more difficult by stretching the legs. It's harder the lower the floor they are. This is a good place to start and you can make it more difficult as you get stronger. And then just finally hug your knees to your chest, massage the lower spine and rock from side to side. And then you can either stay here and just relax or go into a nice stretch. I like to come up and then just do a few hamstring stretches or just sit and relax after my sequence.